So I've noticed there haven't been a lot of good tutorials out there about how to use Jack Audio Server, Pipewire, and Elsa in terms of uh, audio routing in Linux. Um, I'm talking specifically Manjaro. And I wanted to make a really quick and easy tutorial to follow. So you can see Discord does not have anything related to Jack in my audio here. So it, it's not picking up my microphone. You can hear it in OBS. And I'm going to show you how to set it up in Discord, which is a non-native a Jack program. So it's really easy. First thing you're gonna need to install a few things. QJack is one of them. You're also gonna need to install Pipewire, both of what you see here. You're also gonna need to install Jack2 and Jack2 Dbus, like you see here. Okay, so once you have those installed, you probably will need to reboot. Once you've rebooted and you came back in, you'll see QJack here. Uh, don't start it yet. What you want to do is go into setup, make sure you have your also driver selected, make sure real time is selected, and make sure this is set to your audio interface. So in my case, it's my microphone. I'm going to hit cancel. After you've done this, you're going to need to go into your terminal and you're going to need to add the audio group. It's super easy, super simple. And uh, so first, you just need to go to your ETC security directory. If you notice there, I first had to go to my root directory. We're going to list this. We're going to sudo nano which is a text editor for console, limits.com. I'm just putting my password here. You will have to do that as sudo. You can see I already added the audio group. We're giving it real time, max real time priority and uh, unlimited mail lock. Really easy. Just copy and paste this into this folder and then save it. Now, there's a few more commands we'd have to type really super simple so first is going to be group add audio um if i could type my obviously the audio group already exists for me but it would create the audio group there now you have to assign yourself to it so type who am i that's going to tell you your username as you can see my username is local if I want to type user mod dash a dash b audio and then whatever popped up in the who am I there, that's going to add your user. I'm obviously already added and also you need to run this as sudo. I'm already added. Now you would have to log out and log back into Manjaro. Once you've done that, type groups, type grep, audio. And you can see it highlights audio there. So you're in the audio group. Great, you're in the audio group. You can now start QJack CTL. Once you started QJack CTL, open up the graph. Once you've opened up the graph, this is for my uh, OBS, so you can ignore this. And this is for my DAW. Normally, you'll just have the system playback, the system capture, and these two MIDIs. Ignore the MIDI. We're not doing MIDI today. Really easy, though. Uh, to add it to Discord, because Discord's not popping up here. You need Discord to pop up here in order to route. So, this is where Pipewire comes in. Pipewire has a really easy to use command line interface. Uh, so, pack PL, which is what you type whenever you're going to do something in Pipewire. Load module, you're loading the module. Module jack sync, you're creating an audio output or an audio sync. Client name is going to be Discord sync. And then connect equals no. The, dis the client name doesn't really matter. It's just what it's going to pop up as. Um, I'm calling this Discord Sync because it's a Discord Sync. Makes sense. Um, so we're going to go ahead and run this command. All right. We're going to go ahead and paste that into my terminal. And now if we go back to the graph, you'll see we have a playback here. Right, uh, right here. Discord Sync. So if you want to be able to hear Discord, Connect it here to your system output or your system playback. Super easy. Okay. Now, we're going to go back to Kate in my terminal here. We're, now, this is pretty similar. Again, pack TL. So, we're doing a pipe wire command. Load module. We're loading the module. Module jack. It's for jack. Source. This is an audio input. So, module jack source. And then client name here. Again, we're just naming it. We're going to call it Discord source and connect equals no. So if you copy and paste this into your terminal. And we go back to here. You can see in our Discord source, uh, we now have a source. So 
this is going to be your microphone in Discord. So I'm going to take the audio from my DAW and route it directly to there. I did that a little weird, but don't worry about it. Um, yeah, you can also route it straight from your system capture. I'm not doing that. You can. There's no reason why you can't. Uh, and now if we go back to Discord here, you can see my jack source is popping up, popping up, and it's picking up my microphone. I'm going to lower that down a bit. Um, yeah, so super simple, super easy. Now Jack is working in a non-native Jack program. Uh, that's really it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you.